Sam Walton, the creator and founder of Walmart, needs no introduction. We know how successful he was and we know how successful Walmart is as of now. If we look back into the history of how Walmart became successful, Sam Walton played a very significant role. He introduced the concept of single floor or what we call as a big box format for retailing. He introduced 24-7 shopping. He introduced the concept of point of sale merchandising or point of purchase merchandising including greeters and customer service in the concept of retail. He introduced the concept of slotted angles for storing items, which provides agility for us to store new SKUs rather than using wooden racks and so on and so forth. So from something very simple like slotted angles to something as large as the formats itself. So he created a lot of value to the retail industry and many of the things that we see today for example, the cotton candy that we buy for our kids right outside in a retail store or the merry-go-round which is there, all that stuff evolved from him. And what did Sam Walton uh, do to create these innovations? You would be surprised to know he never created any of this. He very keenly observed internally what the customers are doing, what my employees are doing. He looked at what competitors are doing. He looked at what other sectors are doing and he used this concept to find out what's working and what's not working. He started using this concept to pilot and find out why it is not working. The moment he realized the nuances of why something is working or not working, he improvised it. So the very simple concept of observing internally and externally, experimenting in a small way and refining and scaling it in large was what made Sam Walton successful and at the end of the day if sam walton had generative ai with him what would he do he would do exactly the same thing so if you are in uh, the core industry or if you are in pure services industry today where we reside in an industry or an economy of uh, which is purely governed by knowledge what differentiates us from our competition is about how much knowledge we can gain, how much knowledge we can refine, how much knowledge we can retain, and how much knowledge we can transfer, right? And generative AI is largely a creative uh, technology, right? It helps you to manage the entire life cycle of knowledge. So if you want to be a leader in your industry, this may be the right approach for you to look for simple ways of finding the pain points of your employees or customers and then finding out is knowledge the gap there and can generative AI fill that gap.